I started working on a story about a scandal in the ballet world. My name is Alice Robb, and I'm a contributing writer for Vanity Fair. It was a business story about a ballet company that turned into a murder investigation. So in 2016, Ashley married a much older man. Together, they made a plan to start a new ballet company. Ashley's dream was to create a ballet company that would be a home for dancers who were unconventional. She didn't want a cookie cutter company. She wanted girls that were tall, girls that were short. You know, I am taller, so I thought that this would be a great fit for me. I don't know that Doug could spell ballet before he met Ashley. <laughs> what? You know, when you love somebody, what do you want to do? You want to make her happy. Ashley was 24 and Doug was 54. They knew each other for approximately 13 days before they got married. Ashley was sending photographs of herself to Doug constantly. She was you know, a bikini model at some point, and she knew how to work it. She knew how to use it. His major concern is, how's he going to introduce Ashley to Eva? I felt like Ashley was taking my dad away from me. Ashley wants to win total affection. She wants to be number one. She would go through periods where she was just raging at Doug. She flip-flops between he's a great guy who everybody knew him as, or he's evil. Good or evil, good or evil, good or evil. She goes to live with her mother and effectively cuts off all communication with Doug. He's begging her to talk about things, give him another chance. Meanwhile, she accused him of trying to poison her. She's accused him publicly of murder, attempted murder. Was Doug Benefield dangerous? They both had a lot of guns. And there was an incident where, during an argument, he shot a gun into the ceiling. After the, the case with the poisoning allegations, I saw a picture of the two of them, you know, arm in arm, attending a gala together and looking like a happy couple. He was so hopeful and optimistic that everything would be all right. Every time she made allegations, she always came back to him and gave him hope of reconciling. At some point, Ashley said that she wanted to move to Maryland together and start over as a family. They were packing up her house in Florida. I heard some, uh, somebody screaming outside. And she shot him. She walks next door, gun in hand, and tells the neighbor, I shot Doug in self-defense. It was right next door to me. She just came over. Her strange husband attacked her, and she says she shot him. Was she genuinely afraid or just trying to get her way? Since Black Swan came out, I think that's a lot of people's only window into ballet, which sucks. But this certainly does parlay into that narrative. To Doug, Ashley, this innocent, pure white swan, but underneath those white feathers, she's the black swan.